it gets in your blood. It just gets inside you. Once you're here and you've been here, that's it. So this is this is a sort of collection of DVDs. I've got City's first promotion or second promotion. I remember because I went to loads of those games. Um, I went to Doncaster away on the Saturday that we clinched it, but I didn't go to um, is it Barnsley in the midweek game where we were three 0 down at half time and we won four three. But I went to I went to pretty much every home match, um, and I went to Doncaster when we won three 0 so that was um, Kells, Nicky Jennings. You can see Kells on the on the front there, smoking a fag in the dressing room. So the, what was he like to watch? Oh, he's just brilliant, just absolutely brilliant. And he was absolutely 100, percent you know, in love with the fans as well. He was cracking. I met him outside of football. I met him in a pub. He came to my auntie's pub with his wife because his wife was playing darts, and he was just, you know, just sit there with you have a have a fag and a beer and talk and he was just a a real genuine nice guy and he, he loved this place and the cup run that is that I assume you're at the the game the newcastle game yeah yeah i went to them all except millwall i went up to newcastle leicester uh, maidstone tottenham uh, yeah yeah you fantastic that newcastle game particularly here here well, my my memory was or, or always Hatchie's Hatchie's Corner, not Holmesy's Corner, Hatchie's Holmes Corner, Hatchies. and just the place being absolutely rocking. And I mean, I was lucky enough. I popped out the game afterwards, jumped on a bus, went home, and watched it on telly. <laughs> Eighty nine, ninety, um, brilliant team, absolutely brilliant team. Who was your standout for that? that, that I particular? would. Well, I mean, Robot, and I suppose. You, you, you pick him because of the goals, but I think Weave Neville, he was a he was a crowd favourite as well. Um, but that was just a brilliant team, absolutely brilliant. Sean Taylor, and we had great people, you know, coming in doing things like the boy from Glasgow Rangers. He scored down at Torquay. Uh, Angus McPherson, and the crowd used to sing, "Angus, where's your trousers?" Uh, just a brilliant, brilliant team. But then Terry Cooper was a a pucker manager, wasn't he? And of course, that one. Uh, that one. A special. That's a special yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. I got to that, and I got to the home game. I was lucky enough. So I used to work for Southwest Water, and one of our um, corporate boys put money in, so we got a couple of tickets, which he gave to me. So yeah, I got to I got to both of those. And uh, that one, a special season there. Yeah, another special season. That, going to Wembley that first time was quite disappointing, but the second time. You just knew that they were there, and it was like we're going to win. And if it's if if it's win ugly, we're going to win. So that was that was just brilliant. And then you know to follow it with another another promotion, yeah, fantastic. And as I say, Logan loved him. I thought he was a he was a, a cracking guy. Current city manager Matt Taylor was a big part of that. He was, yeah, well, what yeah. Of him as a, a centre half, a, a proper centre half, mm. and we don't see enough of it. Um, that, well, and we don't see it because they're not going to stay on a pitch long enough, are they? You know, big, strong guys who who, who really know their their art of defending. With today's forwards who are just falling over all over the place, they'll be gone. You know, Jalzy would Jalzy wouldn't be out there five minutes. You know, we used to sing it, didn't we? Six foot two, eyes are blue. Jimmy Jalzy's after you, and and he would be, and. Nothing. It wasn't malicious. It was that was how they played. Hard, strong. You know, they tackled, and you can't do it in in today's game. It's a it's a real shame. And of course, a big character, Matt Taylor, Jimmy. Yeah. As well, what yeah. sort of big characters have you seen over your time? Characters. Um, real, real fun people. Danny Bailey. Remember Danny, the wild man from eighty nine ninety promotion. Um, not um, not an outgoing character, but a really nice guy, Peter Hatch. Absolutely love Hatchie. He's just he is brilliant. I remember the thing when they opened the new stand, and um, I think it was one of the Kellogg's bootlaces boys was talking to him about Kells and what was his memories, and and he nearly went and and mate boy had to put his arm round him. But he's another one. You know, he's always up here. Um, incredible memories of the club loves the place and uh, yeah I, I 
great character. Best ones, well, I suppose the best one, we always refer to it as the Bible, which was the one that came out just as we were about to get promotion um, in 89-90, which has got, you know, the, the records of all of the games, but also I'm, I'm lucky enough, I got quite a few signatures. So um, I had two copies, one was my father-in-law's and I think between us, we got that, like the whole squad. But I've, I've got, you know, Terry Cooper, Darren, Sean Taylor. So quite a few in there. Um, the more, the more comical ones, that is, that is just an absolute brilliant read. Simon Carter, who was, was with the Express and Echo, that is, that is brilliant. Um, what else have we got? Oh, some, some individuals' books. So I've got Gibbo. Mm -hmm. Very, very classy player, but obviously at the end of his career when he came to us. Um, bit, of a, bit of a troubled lad, Christian Roberts, but oh, real classy winger and a good goal scorer. Um, one that's probably way back is um, Cliff Baston. So there's a, there's a just a small small bit first in the first few chapters about obviously his growing up playing football here and joining Exeter City. And in terms of yourself, can you tell us a bit about how you came to support City for your early days? Yeah, yeah. So my uncle, um, who lived up at Priory Road, he brought me here in the old cow shed, and I must have been about four or five. So I'm 60 now, so, um, and, I, and I only sort of vaguely remember it. I just remember the, the old stanchions and the sleepers and the general sound. But he got married a couple of years later and um, my cousin was a bridesmaid and the pair of us came down here on the Saturday. He made a big mistake because it was City's first match of the season and we drew two all against Brentford and it was like an evening kickoff sort of six o'clock or half past five, something strange. And after the wedding, we came down and watched that. Um, Banksy scored both and that was it. So that same season, I think Arthur went to Tottenham when we lost 6-3 and uh, Greavesy scored all those goals when he was offside. <laughs> and then the next season we played Man United. So I got to see Bestie and Charlton and Law and yeah, brilliant. It, it's completely, completely different. You know, that, that monstrosity that was our away end. Uh, you know, the old grandstand always be a part of our history. But I can remember I used to, down by the Flybee, um, signs there. They used to have the halftime scoreboard, so it was uh, A to Z. I don't know whether you've ever, you've ever seen it. So it basically was a, a metal structure with A to Z, and up in the press room, the guys would get the halftime scores on the radio, and on the back of your program, you'd have A to Z, and what games they were. And then the ball boys would run out, and they had little metal boxes, lift them up, take out the plates with the scores on. So, you know, nil, one, two, three, and put them up. So everybody, and there was one down that end as well. So everybody <laughs> could look and say, oh yeah, look, you know, Chelsea's beating Man United. But I used to sit on top of it and, and watch the game from there. And we all had rattles. You know, somebody was having a tour around the, around the museum room the other day. And somebody said, do you know what that is, lads? Uh, and one of them actually said, oh, it's a rattle, isn't it? But, you know, people don't remember those things. Best thing about support at Exeter City? Uh, it, it gets in your blood, it just gets inside you and, every, and as I say every time you come here you see all these people, it doesn't have to be a match day but you just see all these people and it's, it's in you, once you're here and you've been here, that's it.